Reclaimed is an online free cycling platform where people can easily give away things that no longer has use to them anymore but does to somebody else. The MirrorMate is a smart mirror that helps you throughout the day and it shows useful information besides your own reflection. For example, the weather, the date, uh, your calendar and the news. During the holidays we went to uh, the USA in San Francisco and Silicon Valley. Of course it was a holiday, but also to visit some companies there, also some Belgian startups. We visited where, for example, Google, Airbnb, GitHub for more technical people and VMware. Uh, I think the Belgian startups, well, I know, don't know the main reason, but their target is more in, in San Francisco and USA uh, because they're targeting on these companies. But uh, also I think because it's more easy to get investors um, invest in, in your company in San Francisco or in the USA in general. So I gave a presentation at the San Francisco HTML5 group. I talked about MirrorMate and what we are making with it, so I basically pitched the ID to them um, to get some feedback. Uh, I presented at Adobe, at the headquarters of Adobe, and um, it was more a creative presentation from how um, Adobe uh, um, boosted my creativity and such things, but I also then talked about how Adobe helps in our startup. I think a big difference between the Belgium and USA companies is that they have a different mindset. In Belgium, if you fail with your company, if you go bankrupt, people look at you like that you failed. And if you fail in the USA, they look at you like, oh yeah, you achieved something, you actually learned something by failing. I think that's a great difference. There are a lot of things to think about and we really want to make the second prototype a lot better. We need to investigate which glass is the best to use, which uh, computing power is the best to use, which uh, material for the casing. Right now we're thinking about al aluminium because that is uh, great for uh, cooling the, the whole product. In the second prototype we didn't put uh, a camera because we got a lot of feedback from the users, uh, quite obvious feedback actually, that um, they don't want a camera in their bathroom. We will focus on just uh, voice and a fingerprint scanner. Uh, right now we have one fixed supplier uh, that's for our glass. We, de we determined the price by uh, going to several bathroom stores. Uh, we asked them uh, what the price was of a normal mirror. We also asked them what would the, uh, client, the client want to pay extra for a smart uh, aspect to the mirror. Our price right now is set at 1500. For programming the platform First we'll do research on uh, which technologies we'll, we'll use, uh, what kind of languages. And um, now we're actually doing it in C Sharp on a uh, Microsoft Azure platform. For our users it doesn't matter how we program, it's just what the product will become. We also need servers and uh, that is hosted uh, on Microsoft Azure servers. The cost of the server depends on how many active users we have. When we don't have a lot of users active, then it's like 50 euros a month, but if it's more, then it can uh, go up to like 200. Where are we now? We uh, currently developed uh, or uh, sketched some wireframes that, that came from gathering all the feedback from the users and then creating these sketches and testing them with these users because someone is coming Monday again to test them. And then we can come to something more visual from the wireframes to mockups. Our first version, which is called the beta version, is uh, going to be released on the 6th of May. So it's pretty exciting and still a lot of work to do. Together with Machos and Fritz, I started two years ago um, my internship in the studios. We are working on a product, Talent Depot. Talent Depot is a, a mobile application that connects uh, students who want to work with employers who are looking for students to, to do a temporary job. We are launching Talent Depot next Monday, 27th of April. It's a, a very stressful time because we we are launching it with a marketing campaign and we are now doing the final tests of the applications. Creating an app from zero to hero <laughs> uh, is, a, is a lot of hard work because it all started with an idea and as ITers you, you directly start to develop which is a, a hell of a job. We did uh, the same like uh, MirrorMate and Claimed and the cool idea about Claimed is that they really focus on a, on a 
problem to Mirror Mate. The product they develop is just cool. The hardest thing is to to know to which group they they want to to sell it. Do a lot of networking, spread your idea, talk about your idea, and just do it and jump. We are here now uh, because of uh, the Vlaio Beste SBP. We are in a regional competition right now and uh, we hope to uh, go further to the national uh, competition, uh, the national final. The challenge is to uh, present our ID and then there are 10 minutes that the jury can ask us questions and based on those questions and our presentation they'll decide who can get further. At the SBP final, we won the Chris Gantois Award, which is an award for the best dream coach. So we're really proud on it and it's an honor to have this prize. Well, we won the regional final of Vlajo Best SBP. And now we can go forward to the Flemish uh, final from SBP. And if we win that, we can go to the European final. And then we get a lot of funding, which would be very useful for the Mirror Mate, of course. Uh, we are very happy. Um, we get a lot more stress now, but it's positive stress. So it's like, yeah, we really want to win. 